Hello friends, today is Sunday, 24th of October, the year 2029, 21. Today I will tell you about my ideas about stability. Two ways of obtaining it is one, the most usual one is deep ballast keel with lead or iron or something like this. The other one, no one is really using it except me, is buoyancy. Here is a, now a mock-up of the boat lengthwise. And here is how high it's gonna be. Well, <laughs> there is the, here is the uh, dining room or lunch room where I sit and it's going to be a big side here like this you can have uh, it's about 50 centimeters and uh, it always, it always looks from the front, so it's rather high, but it's to get buoyancy. In that way, the boat gets very shallow draft, like my model here. You see, this is how it is. Now, Buoyancy. Besides acceleration, there is two forces acting on a boat, gravity and buoyancy. They get the stability. Gravity. Lead is expensive, creates resistance. Buoyancy air is free, no weight, gives space. For racing a triangle course, lead is necessary. But for a cruiser, it's a drag. Still, almost every cruiser is so influenced by racing boats that they carry ballast, have shoes and buoyancy. And here is a little calculations. The deck house, the front part is 916 liters. The back port is 239 liters and together it's 11.55 or it's 1.155 cubic meter and as the boat displaces about one cubic meter it will float amply just on the deck house and it should not be possible to stay there, at least not for long times in waves. So I think the boat is, total height is about 130 centimeter and beam 140. So this is about stability and buoyancy and gravity and lead and all these things. So thanks for today.